What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about the icon of the west. Yes, we're going to talk about the revolver. Next to the standard Cattleman Showfield and double action revolver are the 8 special revolvers we know so far. And I'm going to show you the specification of those beauties and I'm also going to show you how to get them. First things first. The golden double action revolver from GTA 5 Treasure Hunt. You can obtain this revolver by doing the treasure hunt in Grand Theft Auto Online. You only need to be sure that your GTA account and your Red Dead Redemption account are connected to the same Rockstar Social Club account. I love this gun a lot, I use this the whole story mode. The specifications are the same as the normal double action revolver. However, the only difference is that you cannot get a gold paint on the normal double action revolver. Let's go to the next gun, the Otis Miller revolver. For this gun I was tipped by my personal friend Mr. Derpy Cake, so thank you. For this gun you need to go to Rattlesnake Hollow, northwest of Amadeo. You need to enter a cave and this gun will be in a box you can loot. This revolver is gold and it is really cool to combine with your golden double action revolver. Specs are pretty good if you ask me. It is really powerful and I wish I knew about this gun way way earlier so I could use it the whole epilogue. But yeah, it's like this man. This gun bang bang. The next four guns are obtainable by doing the gunslinger side quest. That will start after meeting the writer in the smaller saloon of Valentine, which is attainable directly from chapter 2. To see the exact location on the map of the gunslingers, you have to look at the pictures which are in your satchel after talking with the writer. Let's start with Granger's Revolver, which look pretty cool if you ask me. With some cool engravings and the gun is also black, so that looks cool as well. The gun is obtainable after you kill Emmett Granger at Flat Iron Lake in a duel after doing a side quest. The side quest was pretty cool, so probably you will enjoy it. You can just get it from his dead body. The gun has average specifications and it's not better than the double action revolver if you ask me. But it's just a cool thing to collect, you know, so let's get it. Let's go to the next one. This is one of my favorites. It's the Flacos revolver. I really like it due to the cool skeleton engravings. You get this revolver by killing Flaco Hernandez in a duel versus the Mexican gunslinger Flaco Hernandez, which means in plain English Skinny Hernandez, so that's pretty funny. Flaco Hernandez is hiding in Grizzly's North in a cabin close to a frozen lake. This revolver shape and specs are more or less the same as Granger's revolver, so it's really cool to double wield them together. Next in line, Midnight's Pistol, which you obtain by dueling Billy Midnight. The duel starts after you start Billy's side quest, and that starts at Road Station, when you ask for Billy Midnight at the ticket desk. This pistol is not really a revolver though, however it looks really cool, with the gold and stuff. This pistol is a 9 or 10 shot, so you don't have to reload so often. And it's also really a fast and a powerful gun. Personally, I don't like the pistol that much, do that I am more a revolver guy. Especially in Red Dead Redemption, because this is like a cowboy game, so yeah. Let's go with the revolvers again. The last of the gunslinger guns is Colorway's revolver. And this is my personal favorite. You will obtain this by doing the last mission of the Gunslinger side quest. But this uh, side quest will not unlock until chapter 4. No. 
And you also needed to do the other four gunslinger side quests. In this side quest you have to dual uh, colorway, so that's pretty cool. I really like this duel, by the way. This is a real powerful gun and I also like it a lot, like I said, it's my personal favorite. So yeah, let's go to the next one. The last two revolvers will include spoilers and I don't want to spoil the game for you. So if you didn't finish the game so far, I suggest you stop watching the video from now. When starting the epilogue chapter you will get John Scattleman revolver from the beginning. It's a pretty cool easter egg that they put this revolver in the game. It's not a powerful gun and it's just slightly stronger than the normal Cattleman revolver. But like I said I think it's really cool they put this in so I enjoyed using this gun so let's go to the next one. So this is Micah's revolver, it has the text Vengeance is here by mine on it, that's pretty cool. You cannot get this gun before you enter story mode. And you can loot this from Micah's body and it will be in Micah's hideout, it's here on the mountain. Specs are not that special and the gun neither but the gun is pretty fast if you ask me, it's faster than John Scattleman Revolver, I tried it. Please comment below what's your favorite gun. Mine was the Callaway Revolver. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I see you in the next one, of course. Bye. Looks like a ghost town now.